Hello! In today's video, I'm going to talk about one popular ingredient, vanillin, and if you should avoid it or not. So what is vanillin? In short, vanillin is a synthetic ingredient that mimics the flavor and scent of natural vanilla. It's a phenolic aldehyde, an organic compound with the molecular formula C8H803. Vanillin comes in two major forms, vanillin and ethylvanillin, which can be lignin-based or glycol-based. Both forms are similar in chemical structure, but ethyl vanillin is more potent with a slightly different scent and flavor note. Most synthetic vanillin is glycol or eugenol base. These are petrochemicals that are usually derived from crude oil. A small amount of vanillin is lignin base, made from its waste, which is a wood pulp byproduct. Lignin based vanillin has a richer flavor and is preferred while glycol based vanillin is more cost effective. Non-synthetic vanillin is extracted from the vanilla plant, vanilla planifolia, and produced by drying and curing natural vanilla beans. However, most vanillin is chemical synthesized, with some being processed through ultrasound assisted and microwave extraction, supercritical fluid extract, and enzymatic extraction to name a few. Vanilla and ethyl vanillin oxidize fast and that's more apparent in products such as fragrance oils where no dyes are used. These products become darker over time as a result, but that doesn't change the scent of the product, just the appearance. Vanillin is a popular scent and flavor ingredient not only in food and drinks but also in cosmetics, skincare, and household products such as candles and cleaners. Though natural vanilla is the optimal choice, Many manufacturers resort to vanillin for cost reasons and supply issues. Currently, there's a high demand for vanilla flavor than possible to supply. As a result, natural vanilla is more time consuming to produce and costly for manufacturers to obtain than synthetic vanilla. In short, in order to keep prices down to the consumers, many manufacturers opt for synthetic vanilla in their products. Vanilla is commonly found in ice cream and chocolate products. These two industries consume approximately 75% of the market demand. Other products that contain vanillin are baked goods, candy, wine, tobacco, medicine, even perfumes, candles, cleaning products, and room sprays. Not only does vanillin add flavor to food and drink, but it can also serve as aromatherapy and an air freshener. Even with food and drink, vanillin can help balance the flavor of bitter foods such as chocolate, which is what pure vanilla naturally does. Thoughts on the safety of vanillin remain mixed or at the very least controversial. Major organizations such as the Environmental Working Group and the Food and Drug Administration generally consider vanillin a safe ingredient for consumption with no links to cancer, developmental and reproductive toxicity, and allergies and immunotoxicity concerns. However, some research has found that in those who have strong allergies or sensitivities to the chemicals used in manufacturing vanillin, they experience mild headaches and unspecified allergic reactions. It is also believed that long-term consumption may damage brain cells and develop addictions to the ingredient. The reason for this belief is that chemicals in vanillin trick the brain into thinking that vanillin is really pure vanilla. These trace amounts of neurotoxins in the vanillin can damage and potentially kill brain cells. However, this is only likely if a large amount of these neurotoxins is consumed. And since they trick the brain to form a positive response, with the release of serotonin, that's where an addiction can occur. With ethyl vanillin, some researchers have stated potential side effects such as weakness, constipation, tiredness, blindness, and bipolar disorders. Overall, more long-term research is needed to solidify the short and long-term side effects of vanillin, but it's clear there is pushback on the use of vanillin as a consumable ingredient, despite the FDA recognizing it as safe. But since it's considered a safe food additive, vanillin isn't federally regulated and is exempted from the Federal Food Drug and Cosmetics Act food additive tolerance requirements. So, should you consume vanillin? I say no due to the controversy surrounding this ingredient and the fact that it is chemically produced. If you have food allergies or sensitivities, it's definitely best to avoid this ingredient. 
Also, vanillin has no nutritional benefits such as vitamins or minerals in comparison to pure vanilla. Natural vanilla has antioxidants that fight against harmful bacteria. And with all natural things, pure vanilla has a richer, authentic flavor and smell that can't be matched and is what people are really looking for. When it comes to the food, drinks, even skincare products, it's best to stick to natural things straight from nature, such as the whole food diet. I understand that sometimes things such as money and access can get in the way of doing so, but it's always best to have real things in mind when deciding what to consume. Because what may be cheap and accessible in the short term can become costly in more ways than one in the long term, especially where health is concerned. An alternative to vanilla would definitely be opting for the real thing, vanilla beans or pure vanilla extract. There is natural vanilla available as well, made without chemicals and other synthetics, but always read the ingredient list to ensure any additives are natural and won't negatively affect health. Research plays a big role in this, and I encourage you to check the links in the description bar, which also touch on natural vanilla. A final alternative is to explore other natural pure flavors such as anise, almond, even cherry. You just might find a new flavor you love that you can resort to when pure vanilla is not around. Thank you very much for watching. I encourage you to look more into vanilla to fully understand what it is, how it's made, and its safety concerns. I hope I provided enough information to give you a good idea of this ingredient to avoid. If you found this video helpful, please like, comment, and share so others can learn about vanillin as well. Subscribe for more whole food and nutrition videos, and until next time, take care.